Hey, what's up YouTube? Mr. Double D50. Here today with a little something special for you for the Halloween season. Happy Halloween to you all, by the way. This here is a airmail I got from Hong Kong. Um, another one of my eBay specials. Um, money's kind of tight, and I really would like to support the companies that make these, but I'm sorry, guys. I had to go with eBay for the Demon Series Glow in the Dark case just for Halloween, okay? I'm gonna rock this case out while trick-or-treating with my little girl. There it is, let's take a look at it. I um, I did already open this, I repackaged it so I could do an unboxing with you guys. That's what I've been doing lately, instead of doing a separate video for unboxing. I just, I take it out, I unbox it myself, and then I uh, I repackage it, show you what, what, what you're gonna get when you open it, so. With the case, you're not getting anything special. I'm sure with the other one, you're gonna get kind of cool stuff. This one, all you get is the cardboard iPhone. So you take that out. Here you go, kid. Have fun with that. Um, here's the case. Silicone, light. Some of the things I feel about it is it kind of feels powdery. Um, I know it's not. I don't know. I kind of feel like there's powder residue on my hands. But it looks... I wish I could do a side-by-side -side comparison, but I don't have an actual ideal demon. Um, but it looks... Everything I've seen, it looks almost identical. I don't know about feel, if it's softer, more you know, pliable, whatever, but it, it works for me. So we're going to go ahead and stick my phone in. I put it the bottom in first, and then it's got less meat at the top to pull over as the bottom does, so I think it's a little easier. Get that on, and there it is. Here's the Demon case. Looking at the back, you can see the Apple logo through there. It's got the cutouts, so this is the black part. It's actually my iPhone. Uh, camera hole lines up pretty good. Typical massage it over silicone case just to get it lined up right. Have no problems with it. It's got some raised arms here, which you can actually feel are textured and a little X across the uh, the back of the phone there. So you can actually feel that it is raised. Don't know what purpose it serves. That's the back of the phone. Looking at the front of the phone, you've got little teeth here at the bottom, which I do notice. Here we go. Let me get, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Here's a little raised X, and that marks the spot, I guess, to turn the phone on. So we turn the phone on, and you see these little teeth on the bottom here. When you're sliding it over, they do tend to get caught. I mean, you can feel them, but they're silicone. They kind of stay out of the way. I did know some things where you got to get down here in the corner, games or whatever, they do kind of get in the way. Top one, no problem at all. Those little teeth don't cause any problem. they got this little cutout for eyeballs up there. Just, again, paying attention to detail. So that's the front. Let's look at these horns up top. I thought these would be a problem in and out of the pocket. They really aren't. Um, this one isn't very comfortable to put in your pocket, but the horns pose no problem at all. They're very soft, but they are a thick silicone, thicker than, like, the sides. So they don't get caught or anything. They will just bend and flop right out. That being said, this does cover the case, it, or the bezel, bezel, sorry. It does have a lay on the table because so, it's kind of raised up, and it won't, um, it won't let your chrome get scratched or anything like that. The side here has a raised volume bar, which is really cool because it's so easy to turn your volume up or down with that raised bar. You know, I'm barely pushing. The vibrate switch, good luck. you got to have that long fingernail to get in there and turn it on or off. Okay, so... That's kind of a negative to it. The top is completely wide open. That being said, you see I can kind of pull it down and move it around. Not too sturdy, but no silicone cases. I haven't seen, other than like the Solo FX, things like that, the, the silicone is so soft it moves around. So is the bottom, but not a big problem like with sag or anything because this is a huge piece here, and this is the whole back of the case. But they do kind of move around. So that's my review of this case. Overall, I'm going to give it two thumbs up. It was well worth the 5 or $6 I paid from eBay. I will include a link to the sidebar over there so you can access the YouTube, and, or uh, I'm sorry, the eBay thing, and buy one for yourself. It does take two upwards of two weeks, so you guys got to order it now so you can get it by Halloween for your Halloween parties or whatever. That's what I'm going to use mine for. I'm going to take it to the Halloween parties because it does glow in the dark, and that's kind of cool. So this is a double feature extra bonus. I've only used a couple of minutes. Let me go real quick and show you my second bonus that I got for the Halloween Spooktacular. An app I've been playing lately for $1.99 in the App Store. I think it's a lot of fun. Ooh, spooky. Zombieville, USA. Touch if you dare, and I do dare. Here's your main screen. You got some options how to play, resume, uh, new game. I, my best was level 9 with 100 or whatever zombies, so... Real quick, take you through. You got your right arrow to go right, left arrow to go left, and you're just gonna run through. You're gonna shoot zombies. You can go in the house, collect something. I got some money. You got 94 ammo up there, $44. You got pause if you need to pause it. Come back out, 
real quick. Get through as fast as I can. Ignore those zombies. The red button is going to be your gun. Now, he was punching me. See my health going down. If they get close like that, you got the green button here, and this is a bonus. A little bonus for you. Whack. Whack them. It does take like four or five whacks with that bat to knock them off, so that's tough, but you're just going to use it to say, hey, back off. I'm trying to get through here. It's got a cool soundtrack. I mean, Halloween-y. Ah, he's going to kill me before I get to the end. Can't have that happen. For the sake of minutes, I'm trying to guys get you there. I might cut this out. No, there we go. Level clear. So you get to the end of the level, and you have the option here. Now I only got 85 bucks. If you kill more zombies, you get money. You can buy, uh, upgrade your weapons, handgun with a scope, shotgun. You can get some more health. Buy a sledgehammer. As the levels go on, you can buy an Uzi, um, tactical shotgun, bazooka, things like that. So this is it. Dollar ninety nine. Zombieville USA. Really fun game, really cool game, good for the Halloween season. It's been out for a while, but I thought I'd just show it to you guys. Let the zombie kill me real quick, and we'll call it a day. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure that you uh, drop me your comments down there. Give me five stars if you thought my holiday Halloween spooktacular was fun or not. And uh, make sure you subscribe to me, okay? Please subscribe to me, guys. I'm going to do some giveaways the more subscribers I get. So talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.